Legend of Total War here with part 3.2 of my Rome Total War roleplay campaign as the Julia under the command of Spurious Julius, who's now nicknamed Victor. Alright, so previously uh, we captured quite a few settlements, and uh, this is probably going to be the final episode because they only need to capture four more regions. First thing we're going to do General, fight Corinth. Attack. Well, the Scipio at Corinth. If we play our cards right, we might be able to capture Sparta on this turn as well. Then I want to go north and capture the uh, northern Greece. Once we capture four settlements, that's it, we're finishing. Men, we face adversity. I mean, once, once we've gotten victory, there really isn't any point continuing. I mean, um, as I've said before, I've, I do have uh, Total War Burnout, and I think that's largely due to the fact that I have... I've, this is what I feel. I feel like on the single-player campaign side of things, I have nothing left to prove. Um, I've done this as Total War. I've done... Um, I've done this as Total War on many different games. I've done the Blitz campaigns. And these challenge videos aren't really as popular as they used to be. And nobody else on YouTube is doing that kind of stuff. And so with a lack of competition in that regard... Not to say that any of the other players aren't as good as me or anything, but they don't they don't push themselves to the extent that I did. I, I, at least I don't feel like they did. And I just I just uh just don't, I feel a bit of pointlessness in all of this now. Every time I start a new campaign, I've done it before, you know. I've played I've played all of the, the Total War games. And for the most part, mastered them. Single player, that is. Of course, some people be like, "Oh, now you can play uh, multiplayer." Uh, uh, no, 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 no. We we did that last year. Was it the year before? No. Not returning to that. I already feel like uh, I've nothing left to prove in multiplayer either. Our siege towers have reached the walls. The problem with multiplayer now is that. Be hard fighting to break the defenses. It doesn't matter who you beat. People go, oh, but now you got to beat this person. Oh, but now you got to beat this person. And oh, now you got to beat this person. It's like, okay, whatever. I've, I've had enough. Uh, I never wanted to be great at multiplayer anyway. It was just peer pressure. And I found that with multiplayer, the, the more, the better I got, and the more I beat people, the more unhappy I was. So, things certainly improved when I discarded that shit that was multiplayer. But, um, yeah, I just, I just know, whenever I say, okay, I'm done with something, people will go, oh, now you can do this, something that I've already done before, or something, or something totally mundane or mediocre, or something ridiculous Great and not gods. interesting. Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. It's just like there's there's campaigns that I haven't done, but if I haven't done it, it's usually because I think it's stupid to do. Like not interesting for me personally. Things like oh, uh, now play the campaign with, uh, but you play as if you were someone else. What? You know, sort of thing. Or a relocation campaign, which makes no fucking sense to me. But you have to move your, move your initial starting position somewhere else. No. It sounds so boring. I don't understand why people do that stuff. I mean, if, if you enjoy it, that's great. These games are there for enjoyment. But I feel like all the enjoyable campaigns that I could have done, are done. Which is why I've said that uh, the next historical Total War will make or break my channel. So I really do hope it's going to be a great Total War game. I just doubt it. CA just doesn't have a good track record with me now. Uh, in terms of like, great Total War games. They make good Total War games that have mediocre campaign features. And I'm just, I'm not interested in another one of those. I think China's a really risky one for them to do, 
if they want to make it a great total war. I feel like this is like one of those total wars to be like, eh, we haven't done this era before, therefore we'll make loads of money no matter what happens. Maybe, probably. I think that the, the Three Kingdoms Total War, regardless of how good it is, will sell like fucking hot cakes or whatever. It's gonna sell well. But is it going to be a great Total War? Don't know. And then, of course, people will also say, what about Thrones of Britannia? Thrones of Britannia is Total War Attila. Sure, it's going to be good and everything, but you need to compare it to other Total War Attila DLC. I mean, they. I don't know this for a fact because it's not out yet, but I'm pretty sure that when it's going to come out, it could very easily be like, this could have been DLC for Total War Attila. That's what I think anyway, because it's still going to follow more or less the exact same system. I, from everything that I've heard and been told. I'd be, I'd be very, very surprised if Thrones of Britannia was like revolutionary, uh, was completely different from Total War Attila. And as you guys know, I didn't like Total War Attila. Liked Age of Charlemagne compared to like other Total War Attila stuff. I just, yeah, I just really did not like Total War Attila. It's the only Total War game I've ever given a negative review for. But I gave it a negative review, not because I thought it was a bad game. Total War Attila is not a bad game. I just didn't like the direction the they took the game in. And that's important to Fear me, the direction they're taking these games in. Hearts. And by direction I don't mean what era. They could, they could play, they could make it whatever era they want. That's not, I'm not, I don't care. It doesn't have to be Europe. I'm not one of those Euro fags that are like, oh it has to be Europe. I don't care. They want to make it China, crap. They want to make it Africa, don't care. America, don't care. Just make it good. Whatever it's going to be, just do a good job with this. The thing is, Rome Total War introduced me to the Roman Empire and made me very interested in history. If Total War Three Kingdoms could make me interested in Chinese history, that would be that would be very. Impressive if they can do that. I do have. I'm a little bit racist towards China, though. I don't like China. <laughs> Orders. Orders. General. All right. Um, if we're going to do a draw out here, we need to make sure we don't send too ma too many troops. Orders. Just get an idea of what they've got first. Okay, so let's bring in Imperator, sir. March. Combining troops, ready to ambush. Okay, it's probably a little bit not in my favor, but that's good because if it goes too much in my favor too soon, they'll just be like, run away, and then that's it, I won't be able to get them in time. Reinforcements, I think, are coming from the north. The enemy have brought up more men. It might be a good idea, even, to let them. D oh, there's, there's no time. They're coming straight for us. Thing is, if I crush these guys right here, these guys are just going to turn right back around and be like, yeah, no. Nah. 
Okay, that gets rid of their artillery. Now, I would... Uh, hang on. Take out their cavalry here. Quickly. Right, I want you two to come stand over here. And you four, I mean. Oh, shit! Quick, get over here. Because you want these guys to meet up. Out of my way, fucking pigs. General flees! Press forward so the spirit the gods be praised! The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! So yeah, just stand back over here, let them meet up. Don't fire it, because the balance of power is moving in our favor. We don't want that. We want them to meet up, so that I, I don't have to go running around and trying to frantically get them before they run away. Think strategically, not just tactically. Okay, but also, we should try and keep our guys tired, because that's going to affect the balance of power. We want the balance of power to fall a little bit more out of our favor, otherwise these guys are just going to run away. You stay here, you go with him. Okay, now at least they're, me they're meeting up. So I'll need you to take out that general. Oh, it's just infantry, okay. It's not actually a general, okay, good. their escape. Shooting us. Oh, they've got Archer of Auxiliary of their own. Okay, double back around. Get rid of those Archer of Auxiliary. Yep, so they're, they're on the run now. We've got to get over there and stop them. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Got him. God to fill the heart. Yeah, we, we've got him. Sparta is ours. That means two more settlements left to go. Victory! General, prepare for battle. Victory! Rome has conquered! Okay, the, yep, the, uh, the urban cohort can be retrained here. Good. This is under siege, but I'm not too concerned about it. We're getting our forces back up to strength quickly, and we'll move forward. So yeah, we just need two more, and we've got victory. Imperator. So that'll be one. Let's see if we can go for Mediolanum. Okay, now these guys here, they're not ready to move out just yet. Probably could reorganize that a little bit better, but it's fine. 
I'm not going to bother with too much construction. Let's just make sure the ones with the lowest public order are okay, which they are, thanks to the recent capture of the wonder. Moving on. Hopefully they can capture that. The legionary cavalry might get fucked up, but oh well. Don't you dare fail me. Good, didn't even lose me, man. Good, and that is the Scipio capital. We only need one more settlement, and we have victory. Yeah, we still need another turn here to fully retrain. Salamis is badly defended. If we could, if we could get there, guaranteed settlement. Okay, next stopped. Stop Larissa. Okay, so these guys here, I'm not going to give them any time to um, retrain, actually. You need to get rid of them. Engage the enemy. Victory! Engage the enemy. Victory! Send them to go and help against Batavium. They haven't built siege equipment there either. Yeah, better stop them. Just the ones that have the lowest public order. And then let's move on. So is this going to give us victory? There we go. I could have just continued on from the previous episode for 15 more minutes. About 20 minutes. But I didn't know it was going to be this quick. It just repeats itself a lot. Alright, so there we go. 50 settlements. Now, of course, we... There is still a lot of other settlements to capture. I think there's 50, 102 in total, so still 52. But, you know, we're absolutely ruffle stomping the enemy. They're not going to put up much of a resistance. And we've, even if even if I only had a handful of settlements, you know I could take them on. So, let's just end it here on a high, I suppose. Before it, before it gets really tedious. I mean, that's good enough. Anyway, that's the end of this series, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, fuckers.